previously we've been given a, a definition for the integral of the natural log and it was not obvious when we got that definition or, or that equation where it came from um, so I want to take a moment in this video to look at where that equation comes from um, so to evaluate the integral of the natural log of x we're going to use the integration by parts formula shown up here in the top right corner um, this is not a typical integration by parts uh, integral because we only have one function here that we are integrating and typically we choose a u and a dv that both have x's involved in it um, but we don't necessarily have to do that for this particular problem we'll choose u equal to the natural log of x because when we take the derivative of the natural log of x it simplifies or reduces and we just get 1 over x um, and then what that leaves for dv is simply dx then when we take the derivative of u we get du times the derivative of natural log of x which is 1 over x times dx and then the integral of dv is v and the integral of dx is x and so just using the integration by parts formula we get this x times the natural log of x minus the integral of x times 1 over x with respect to x now choosing those u and dv um, expressions what we end up with here is an integral where the x and the 1 over x cancel each other out and we are essentially just taking the integral of 1 so we're going to end up with x times the natural log of x here minus the integral of 1 with respect to x which is simply x so we get x times the natural log of x minus x plus our constant of integration since this is an indefinite integral and this formula here now is is very easily verified by taking the derivative and seeing that the derivative of this using the product rule minus x is going to give us the natural log of x.